Developing tonight, new reaction after President Obama takes a swipe at Fox News today for showcasing low-income folks who are gaming the system on his watch. And I have to say that, you know, if, if you watch Fox News on a regular basis, it is a constant menu. They will find, like, folks who make me mad. I don't know where they find them, right? And they're all like, like I don't want to work. I, I just want a free Obama phone or. <laughs> Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen is one of the people who has made the Obama administration mad. And he is here with more. Hi, James. Megan, good evening. There was a time, and I remember it well, because I was the reporter of record on the story for this channel when it was all happening, when the Obama administration launched a war on Fox News, with White House aides publicly declaring us not a real news organization, an arm of the Republican Party, and trying to get us kicked out of the network news pool rotation. That effort was aborted, but the president from time to time has continued to blame Fox News for what he believes are popular misconceptions about him and his record. I've got a, uh, one television station <laughs> that is entirely devoted to uh, uh, attacking my administration. Uh, I mean, you know, that's a pretty... I assume you're that, talking about Fox. Well, that's a, that's a pretty big megaphone. Just in case your, some of your friends or neighbors or, you know, Uncle Jim who's a little stubborn and been watching Fox News and, you know, he thinks that somehow I raise taxes. Let's just be clear. If you talk to somebody who said, well, I don't know, I was watching Fox News and they said this horrible. <laughs> and, you, and, 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 oh, you, and, and you can say, you know what, don't take my word for it. Go on the website. Now, just 40 days after that last comment, Mr. Obama formally apologized for the disastrous rollout of Obamacare and couldn't be heard mentioning Fox News. Then there was his interview in October 2010 with Rolling Stone founder Jan Wenner, who asked if Fox News is good for America. Quote, Fox News has a very clear, undeniable point of view, the president said, one that I think is ultimately destructive for the long-term growth of a country that has a vibrant middle class and is competitive in the world. But as an economic enterprise, it's been wildly successful, unquote. Now, never has the president publicly explored the implications of his own closing thought there. Why exactly is Fox News so successful? Number one for 13 consecutive years. Only one of two things can be true. Either this largest of cable news audiences knows what President Obama knows, namely that Fox News is, as he frames it, a slanted arm of the Republican Party, but still prefers to get its news from such a source in which case we would assuredly be a center-right nation, or this largest of cable news audiences just hasn't caught on to what is so obvious to the president and his aides, isn't sophisticated enough to see what they see, in which case the White House is effectively insulting the intelligence of the American people, Megan. Like their advisor, Jonathan Gruber, who definitely thinks we're too stupid to understand what they're doing that's so great for us. You know, it's interesting, because under President George W. Bush, he took a lot of income, especially from MSNBC, and he never complained, because it was beneath the dignity of the office. In the meantime, the, the point the president was trying to make today was about poverty, which happens to be an area where his approach has undeniably gotten a fair, a fair shot long before Fox News ever came on the scene. And come up short in the half century, Megan, since Lyndon Johnson launched the war on poverty. The American taxpayer has shelled out an estimated $15 trillion on state and federal anti-poverty programs. Yet the poverty rate has only declined in that 50-year span from 19 percent to 14 and a half percent. And in Baltimore, it's almost 25 percent. And the percentage of American children living in poverty remains essentially unchanged since 1964. Now, here's my shameless plug. Follow me on Twitter, at JamesRosenFNC. Oh, Y'all. Really? And right after, yeah, oh. And right after this segment, I'll tweet out, the modern president under whom the poverty rate in America hit its lowest point. Why can't I Hint. just Google that? Why do I have to go on a Twitter, sign up, follow it's you? It's less typing. It's less typing. Here, you, I got a better you, tease yeah. for you. Why don't you, right. why don't you take your last 15 seconds and tell us about that time that you played the piano with Paul McCartney? October 8, 2005. Who remembers? Who remembers? <laughs> I was there. Uh, the, the series.